Hey everyone, it is Hate Learning. Welcome back to another episode of. Well, not another episode, but a new Let's Play. This time we will be playing a Nip Stories level. So, as you see, I have a few to, uh, here to, uh, play. Uh. Well, since we are just, uh, going to just play around with. We're just gonna start with a tutorial, so we'll start with a tutorial, and then we'll start with levels. So, welcome, try to walk right, try to walk around by pressing left and right arrows. So, left and right is your main control, just to walk. Okay. No, the stop. S is to jump, which kind of, a bit feels awkward. Um, now, these are the introduction to the power-ups. Power up, this one is called running, and uh, you can run, but if you want to walk, if you, because personally I don't know anyone who does that, so hold A, that's it. So, um, then we got another one that just lets you climb up stuff. So. See, I can now climb up that. Um, alright, so, come uh, here too. That might take a bit of time if you're new to the game. If you want to save your game, put down on one of these flashing things. And then we got water there. Water is instant death. Well, every enemy in this game, everything is instant death. So, yeah. Alright, so this one makes you jump higher. Where did one come? No, it's... Yeah, it's high jump. Um... I don't know, it might be long and high jump at the same time. Alright, now this is double jump. You can easily see you can double jump. Um why did I fail that? I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Jump over here. Now you'll notice why did they put the set? Um just make it more scenic. They could they didn't have to. Alright, let's save here. So we got the umbrella now. Uh you can unleash it with the D button. Okay, so there's good things and bad things about the umbrella. The good thing is you can slow down easily if you try to do a jump like this. Uh the bad thing. You can't run it fast. No, it's not running fast. No, I'm running fast. Alright, so, uh, what? Oh, okay, I'm like, why did that jump not work? Oh, because I only did one jump. Ah. And let's read this. So, Q to see what items. So, you can see that I've gotten the, uh, running, the wall climbing, double jump, long jump, and umbrella. And I like how I had my mouse on there the whole entire time. Sorry guys, that was bothering me. I do that with every single recording. If it's on a, it's if it's an on-screen recording, I always do that. By accident. Okay, so you'll see this. You'll be like, mm. oh, I'm guessing you need the umbrella. So let's do that. Nope. Let's see, you gotta come down here. When you see this, uh, with this power, up it lets you see invisible things. And now you can see this bridge. Alright, so, actually, let's continue over here, because... Now, if they can visit over here, try going back to the place you just came from. That just tricks you, so it's a huge bag. Alright, let's see how it is. Now, if these turn invisible, I think you can get the under area there. Save. Making this, uh, detector will make you glow red when an enemy approaches. Uh, this is the introduction to enemies. Enemies, uh, kill you when hit, as I said before, just as water does. Now, these, for some reason, I don't know why they did this, but these robots, whatever they're called, uh, if you get close to them, they w you won't go red when you go up to them. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you die. You just turn into a puff of smoke, which I thought was weird, but... Save again because I got the picture. All right, so I don't even know why I tried to find that. I was gonna get it anyway. Um, 
This is the uh, hologram creator. Uh, so then now you can create holograms. So I'll do that. So you can notice I'm there. Going through there. So that's a good thing. Uh, and that's basically how you play it, just as I said. So, uh, next time on Knit Stories, guys, uh, we will be continuing on to a new level. Most likely, one of my favorite levels for Knit Stories. So, till next time, yeah, until next time, guys, see you later.